Hey guys, I'm back in the last part in Lakshong Tai's level 11 weapon, the Sasuna. And now, we're gonna go in Lakshong Fei's level 11 weapon, which had a total of 14 votes. So, just like any other level 11 weapon, we have to go to Legend Mode. And since we are going for Zhang Fei's, we have to go to his Legend Stage. And I'll show off the 6th Ma like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration and the special rules, so we'll move on. We know the objectives, we know the info, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the Viper Blade at level 10. The items, I'm going to leave it like this. I can't have any bodyguards, so we'll move on. Actually, that pretty much covers it, so let's do it. Alright, so in order to obtain the S rank and unlock Shang Fei's level 11 weapon, all you have to do is defeat every enemy general, including Cao Cao, without allowing any units of troops past the Chungban Bridge. You might be able to get away with one, but after that one, I wouldn't chance it. But if you're trying to experiment, then I would say, you know, go right ahead. I mean, apparently it is possible to have any or allow any, but this will guarantee you the uh, level 11 weapon, and I just want to make sure I give you the guarantee uh, objective, because as you know, the uh, level 11 weapon revolves around points, so that's what makes these level 11 weapons a little bit finicky. That was last second, uh, I definitely needed that, uh, battle axe to show up. Anyways. So, I'm gonna try to take full advantage of the, uh, Power Rune Master Musu, uh, battle axe combo. And I'm pretty sure you know exactly how that works. So, with the Power Rune and the Master Musu, this is gonna suck. That was horseshit, and you fucking know it. Alright, that will finish off Shaho Dune. Or not, never mind. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, he stayed alive a little bit longer than he should have. But anyways. You must I hope that did not count. Well, I got the quote unquote hit, but I didn't deal any damage. That was perfect timing on my part. Well, just in general. Alright, let's not get fucking annihilated because that's exactly what's happening right now. And that Musu, or that charge attack of his would have fucking killed me. I'm not feeling comfortable being in this little spot here. Because the troops could actually pull a Dynasty Warrior 7 up on you. And they will skip you entirely and go straight for the objective at hand. And in this case, it's passing the bridge. So you gotta be careful and make sure the troops do not pass you and go straight for the bridge. Because that's never a fun time. Alright, hopefully that will finish him off. There we go. Yeah, I was a little concerned there. Anyways, that's the first wave. Now I have two more waves to go. And I believe the next wave is Zheng He. Uh, Li Dian. And uh, Sao Ren. And unfortunately, I'm down to red health. So, that sucks. A lot. I mean, with this combo that I'm doing, 
I can kill off enemy generals very quickly. However, it will be very easy for them to kill me, too. So I do need to be careful with that. Alright, I need to find health. Because uh, I'm not a big fan of this Chumusu attack. Well, there's something. Zhang He is down. Alright. Now I have Li Dian and Sao Ren left for this wave. I'll tell you, with the battle axe though, it definitely helps you, well, this combo does help you out defending, um, how the fuck is he still alive? Anyways, now Lee Dian is down. It'll help you defend this little section here. So, that's the only good thing about this. But like I said before, if they pull Dynasty Warrior 7 up on you, which is pretty much skipping you and going straight for the objective at hand, which is passing Changban Bridge. Well, in this case, you're going to have to start the weapon all over again. But, uh, for me, well, just in general, uh, not the weapon, but in general, uh, Liu Bei will start getting attacked, and, uh, you don't want that. Like I said, for the weapon, you may have to start over. I wouldn't me, personally, like I said before, if you want to experiment, go right ahead. You might be able to get away with it. But for me, personally, I'm going to try to make sure I go through this whole stage without allowing any units of troops past me and the bridge. Anyways, now we have Shu Huang, Yui Jin, and uh, Shu Zhu. Alright, Shu Huang is down. Alright, so all that's left is Yui Jin and Shu Zhu. Alright, there goes Yui Jin. And now all I have left is Shu Zhu. Let's grab that, just to play it safe. Let's be careful. Fortunately, he's actually one of the slow characters, so I could actually run away pretty quickly. But, uh, as for the Musu attack, there we go. Why is he just standing there and just randomly attacking? You see that shit? Yeah, I'm just not going to chance it. Let's go. And uh, use that uh, <laughs> bow shot there. Anyways, now it's just more about me defending this section here. Um, Sao Sao will eventually appear. You need to look the fuck out for Sao Sao's uh, charge attack. Especially if you have the power rune uh, equipped and don't have the peacock rune equipped like I do. Because three of those charge shots will pretty much end it. Also note, when you defeat Sao Sao, the weapon will appear right then and there. Alright, a battle axe will be very helpful right now. Because they're about to hightail it. You need to be careful with that, like I said before. They will try to pull Dynasty Warriors 7 up on you, which is basically going straight for the objective, ignoring you entirely, and passing the bridge, or trying to pass the bridge. If you get too close to them, they will try to come back and try to attack you, like you saw there, but um, I wouldn't chance it. Just uh, try to defeat everybody as quickly and as effectively as you can.
and I definitely needed that. So, all right, all that's left is Sal Sal. Now I just got to be careful. Because that charge attack, fuck. That was close. Holy shit. And there's a lot of battle axes here, so I should be able to end him very quickly. Unless something funny happens like that. Got him. We will fight Cow Cow with the Soon family. And that's a win. Alright, that's another weapon down. So a KO count is 420. We defeated everybody in the stage. Our clear time is 8 minutes and 1 second. Uh, the points, please bear with me. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter what the points, honestly, because the, uh, the points, I believe, are at max, so... Eight thousand one hundred and ninety-two points. Like I said, not that that matters because the uh, points are at max. And there it is, the level eleven weapon, the Venom. And just like any other level eleven weapon, the attack power is plus sixty. Uh, and the four items, as you can see, the Tiger Amulet level twenty, which is additional attack. The Horn Helm level thirteen, which is additional mounted attack. The elixir level 18, which is uh, it'll help you fill up your moose gauge a lot faster, um, and the herbal remedy level 17, which is additional charge attack, so more damage towards your charge attack. Anyways, so that's the weapon, and once again, how to get it here? All you have to do is defeat every enemy general, including Sao Sao, without allowing any units of troops to pass the Chungbon Bridge. You might be able to get, get away with one before Sao Sao appears and possibly after. Like I said, I really don't know the whole real... Uh, I don't know the safety net for that, but just to play it safe, try not to allow any. Also, another thing I forgot to bring up, if you allow troops to pass as long as the leader of that unit is down and dead, uh, it won't actually, excuse me, it won't actually count. And uh, they'll just kind of quote unquote retreat, so to speak. So if you allow a batch of units to pass as long as the leader of that unit pack is dead, you don't have to worry about that actually counting because it won't. Anyways, like I said before, defeat every enemy general, including South Side, without allowing any units of troops past Chungbon Bridge. Uh, just try to make sure that you do it without it, without uh, allowing any. That way, you're guaranteed the weapon. Anyways, the grade, obviously we got an S rank. There it is, 100, perfect score. I think the only one that we haven't gotten 100 on is Guan Yu's, but at the end of the day, the grade requirement is 90 or higher. So just a reminder for you on that one and obviously it has to be done on expert in order to see the s rank anyways we will save and there you have it you've been watching my gaming adventures featuring dynasty warriors 4 
in some cases extreme legends well in this case it really is extreme legends and i'll see you in the next part where we will go unlock another level 11 weapon and the next weapon we're going to go for is Zhao Yun's. So, peace out.